Good afternoon, my YouTube minions. Uh, I have a special treat for you here today. Um, another Generation 4 battle, uh, probably the last, well, definitely the last one, because uh, today is the day that uh, all DS and uh, Nintendo Wii um, Wi-Fi is uh, being disconnected, but me and NBZ, a, a guy I've battled numerous times um, in the past, uh, decided to get together for one last hurrah battle. Um, if you, know, if you don't know his channel by now, uh, go ahead and check it out. It'll be in the video description. I mean, but you probably should know him by now. Um, you know, I took a lot of break from Gen 4, but Gen 4 is really, uh, well, it was kind of like my prime. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's the generation I'm probably best known for. I, I took a break from it and started doing Gen 5 battles, and then obviously I uh, ran out of time. I just don't have enough time to do battles much anymore. But, um, yeah, it's uh, definitely interesting to play it again. Now, uh, one thing about this battle, just to note, is um, I'm actually going to be on the other side of the battle. I'm not going to. Be, it's not going to be from my perspective. I did try to um, save this uh, battle to my VS recorder, but for some reason, uh, it never gave me the option, or I missed it, and I was not able to save it. Fortunately, NBZ uh, records real time using a, a uh, well, it's a recording device on his uh, DS, um, a screen capture device. Yes. Um, so he was able to save the battle, and uh, I'm just going to post it. Just to keep in mind, I am on the other side, so. Um, this is a roulette battle, so, um, all of our team, I mean, if you don't know what a roulette battle is by now, it's, it basically means, uh, we're using a random team of Pokemon, uh, from our, you know, from our boxes, so, uh, it's based more or less a random team of Pokemon we own. Alright, so here we go, I'm on, uh, the other side of this. He, uh, leads with a Yanmega, which is uh, also random, by the way, the lead Pokemon is predetermined, and, um, many of my, uh, long-time viewers will recognize, uh, the Credilly. Toxic stalling uh, tentacle monster, um, and yeah, that is my toxic stalling set. It is a special defensive set, and I'm thinking about you know whether I can take a bug buzz. And I decide to stay in because I have uh, pretty, I think, max HP and special defense, or close to it. I, it's a uh, EV to to be a special wall and a toxic stalling tank. But my one attack move is rock slide, so I decide to stay in, go for the rock slide, and it gets rid of him. But he does a lot to Cradilly. He, I bet he specs or something. Specs maybe. Uh, yeah, I bet it specs uh, Yan Mega. Because that did a lot, even if it was super effective, but Cradilly is a beast. Um, I, I have to ask him what the set is, but either way, uh, much, much impressed, much impressed. So I get rid of uh, one of his Pokemon right off the bat, so he goes into a Pillow Swine, and I kind of figure he's going to go for the Ice move, but um, he ends up making a good play and uh, going Earthquake. I think this uh, Mammoth Swine might be Bandit or something. Um, so the Earthquake would have probably killed Cradilly regardless, and um, due to uh, my... Uh, well, my poor prediction, I'm going to lose Typhlosion here, and uh, that's just not good. So, I made a poor play, and it cost me. Moving on, this Mammoth Swine uh, scares me a lot, because at this point, I, I really don't know what kind of set it is, so I just go into Porygon Z, just to see if I can scare him away, because uh, Porygon Zs usually uh, carry things like uh, Ice Beam and things of that nature, so, or uh, Flamethrower I can carry, so I decide just to um, go for the Nasty Plot. I kind of figure he's going to switch. I mean... Because I think he's probably going to fear um, a flamethrower. And he ends up going to a, uh, what is it, a Sedinja, the uh, Wonder Guard Pokemon. 1 HP, but uh, immune to every attack that isn't super effective. Um, but I do have Dark Pulse on this uh, Porygon Z, my uh, nasty plot Porygon Z. But unfortunately, he has a Focus Sash, which gives him effectively 2 HP, 2 lives. And he also has Protect, so he's going to try to stall me out of here a bit, which is going to be effective. Because even though I'm a special attacker, the burn is going to do residual damage. And um, even though I do hit here because he fails a second Protect... Um, I'm still going to take a lot of damage from my own life orb, but then the burn, so Porygon Z is uh, not looking so healthy right now, but I, at least I get rid of the Sedinja. Alright, so I, I don't really know what he's going to go into. Um, I'm kind of fearing that he might go into Mamoswine again, and uh, but he goes into an Infernape, which is something I did not want to see, because this Infernape, uh, looking at my team, can do a lot of damage. Um, so I don't know what to do, so I'm... Just going to... No, I switch. I thought I stayed in. No, I went into... That's right, I have Zapdos. Zapdos is the one thing on my team I, I feel can that can uh, tank an Infernape. And, um, well, obviously I predicted a close combat, and because he hasn't seen the Zapdos yet. So I do go in the Zapdos to eat the close combat, and that's pretty nice. Now, I know he's going to switch here, so I decided to go for the Heat Wave, uh, predicting the Mamoswine, because um, obviously he's going to think I'm going to use a uh, Thunder Attack. So um, I'm really actually proud of that. I'm really happy about this prediction because he ends up going into Mamoswine, uh, which is uh, pretty excellent on my part because I'm going to get some nice damage on that uh, 
that prime swine, the mammoth swine. And, um, yeah, that's really awesome, actually. Now, I know this, I think this is a, either Scarfed or Banded. I don't really know which, but he does outspeed Zapdos, although that's not really too hard to believe, considering my Zapdos I don't think has any speed investment. But he ends up going for the Stone Edge, and that's going to do a lot to Zapdos, but because this is a physical tank Zapdos, he does survive the Stone Edge, which um, is pretty awesome, and I'm going to be able to get the 2 hit KO off with Heat Wave. Unfortunately, the Heat Wave did not kill the first <laughs> on the first hit. And that made me quite sad. So because of that, Zapdos is going to be severely weakened. Um, so I don't think he's thinking about who to go into right now. I think he ends up going into uh, Houndoom, if my memory serves. I mean, this battle was just a couple days ago, but uh, I'm still uh, drawing a blank. What's this? No, no, it's the Breloom. Oh, gosh darn it. I forgot about the Breloom. But uh, yeah, he's going to spore Zapdos. It's a pretty obvious play. I knew he was going to outspeed me. Um... I was just staying in, going for the Heat Wave, but I figure, you know what, I'll just stay in and take the sleep on Zapdos. Sleep Claws means you can only put one of my Pokemon to sleep, and my Zapdos at a uh, low health uh, is a good Pokemon just to uh, just take the sleep, and then I can switch out so he can't sleep any of my other guys. He's going to switch out into Houndoom. Um, I'm kind of surprised he didn't try to set up with uh, Breloom there, but I go into my Crobat, which is my lead Crobat. Um, max Speed Jolly, it's a good fun time. Um, I don't really know. I don't really have any good moves, obviously, to use the Houndoom. I don't think I can uh, one-hit KO with. Uh, I think I, I had Aerial Ace on it. Yeah, I think it was Aerial Ace. So I just uh, switch out uh, using U-turns. That's actually a nice chunk of damage. Um, so I switch back out into Porygon Z, uh, which he goes for a substitute, and that is actually not good either because, um, yeah. Unfortunately, I think the Houndoom is going to outspeed my Porygon Z because my Porygon Z is modest. Maybe, maybe it's timid. Um, but I think it's actually modest. It's a it's a very aggressive Porygon Z. Um, but I uh, get outsped by the Houndoom, which is just not good, and I take a uh, Flamethrower, which is bad. Now, I go into Credily here, and um, I'm thinking, okay, I'm a special wall. Uh, this Houndoom set is obviously uh, not a standard special sweeper Houndoom. I think I might be able to take one uh, Flamethrower Dark Pulse. So I decide to go for the Recover, and he has Nasty Plot, so it is a Nasty Plotting Houndoom, which is not good for me, because uh, the Substitute is still up. So I really need to go for Rock Slide here to uh, kill that Substitute, and I'm really uh, scared about how much a Nasty Plot Dark Pulse would do, but I still take it like a beast. I mean, Credilly, I mean, he's he's throwing out all of the special, uh, high special attack moves on Credilly, and um, yeah, I think Credilly, Credilly uh survived a Specs Bug Buzz that was super effective, and there I think he, uh, well, he survived a Nasty Plot, um, Dark Pulse. But he ends up going for Flamethrower here, and that is going to KO Credilly, because Flamethrower does have higher base power than Dark Pulse, um, so I wasn't going to survive. Although, if he went for another Dark Pulse, I might have been able to survive it, uh, which would have been pretty funny, but, um, I don't, I, he's not obviously going to make that kind of mistake. So, here I go back into Crobat, and I'm pretty confident that a U-turn will be able to KO, and, um, I decided to go for a U-turn just to get a uh, double switch out. Um, I don't really want him going into whatever against Crobat, so I'm just going to go for a U-turn. Um, in hindsight, maybe I should have just finished him off with another move, but uh, I do have to switch out first, and something that's, that's actually, I forgot about that. I thought we switch at the same time, but I switch out first, which isn't such a bad thing, really, because I can get uh, Hippowdon out here, uh, the Pokemon I haven't used yet. So, um, yeah, I was... Uh, at least I can get this guy out. He can't, I mean, he can come in with the Breloom, but uh, he can't put me to sleep because I still have my Zapdos in my party and he's asleep. So anyway, here comes an Infernape, and he has a Grass Knot attack, and that's going to be a huge pain, and I'm just hoping my Hippowdon can survive it. Come on, Hippowdon, you can do it! And he does! He survived, I think, with like 5 or 6 HP out of his 404, so it was a really close hit, and um, yeah, I just go for the Earthquake, get rid of that, Infernape, and um, I am sitting pretty, although not really, because that Breloom is still scaring me. Um, and I think that's his, uh, no, is it, I think it's his last dude. Um, so he goes out into it, and uh, I don't even, what am I doing here? I'm just, uh, oh right, I, I figure he's just going to kill me, so I just go for a slack off just in case, and he goes for a stone edge, and he misses. Now, uh, this is his last Pokemon, and that hacks uh, really hurt him, because uh, this is a uh, Scarf Breloom. Yeah, Scarf Breloom with... Um, that's the reason he didn't try to set up against my Zapdos, is because it is a Scarf Breloom. Um, so he would be able to outspeed most things on my team, but we did a uh, speed calculation, 
And my uh, Crobat um, does outspeed uh, the Breloom even after the Scarf. In, in fact, it's uh, by one speed due to my uh, Crobat being max speed jolly. Uh, does outspeed his uh, Scarf um, Breloom, which is uh, really good. So even if uh, he had hit with that Stone Edge and killed Hippaldon, I still would have uh, won the battle because I would have been able to switch right into um, Crobat and gone for the Aerial Ace, which would have, uh, well would have obliterated the Breloom, uh, considering it's X4 effective. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, but instead of that happening, uh, we're treated here instead with, um, watching Hippowdon just pretty much tank Stone Edges until it's able to finish off Creep with Earthquake. Um, Earthquake is stabbed and a little more powerful, and Breloom is less bulky, so obviously I'm going to win that matchup. So, uh, yeah, that was a great game, NBZ, uh, I think that's a pretty good uh, last hurrah for uh, Generation 4, and, uh, well, also Generation 5, uh, considering all DS and uh, Nintendo Wii games are no longer uh, Wi-Fi enabled. Now, a lot of people have asked me about Generation 6 battles, and it's uh, hard for me to learn a new metagame and, and things of that nature. Um, so... I for now, I, I don't see it in the future. I'm finishing up Liquid Crystal. Uh, updates every Saturday. I'm almost finished with that game. I might go uh, to another playthrough after that. I'm thinking about either White 2 or Black 2. Uh, but there's another thing that I've been looking forward to doing. Um, if anyone wants to send me um, a... Uh, sorry battle videos to uh, my email address. I'll leave that in the video description. I'd like to post other people's uh, battles on YouTube, narrated by me. And of course, I'd give you a shout-out and, um, you know... Uh, and I was also, uh, you know, linked to your YouTube channel. But I just want to, I'm thinking, because uh, battles are and are exciting, and I don't really have time to do them. Um, but I, do, I narrate them, and I think it would be uh, pretty interesting. And um, obviously, I'd only post the best of the best battles. Um, and I uh, tried to do this before, but uh, obviously, I think a battle video is a better means to announce this uh, pro side project of mine. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want to uh, submit a battle, just uh, email at me the address. Uh, it can be a YouTube video, or because I can download from YouTube. Um, or if you have a you know a small enough file to send me, and um, please only send me uh, good battles. Uh, obviously, no sweeps. And uh, yeah, I will re-narrate the battle uh, from my perspective, post it on this YouTube channel, and um, give you a link out. So if you're just starting on YouTube and you uh, think you have a good battle, go for you, uh, feel free to send it in. Um, if you also posted the battle on YouTube, I'll be glad to link that video to the description as well, so they can see your narration um, and version of the battle. But um, yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. This uh, might even be my last battle on YouTube. I don't want to... I mean, crossing fingers here. But um, yeah. It's been a nice run, guys. And um, rate, comment, subscribe, and I uh, hope you guys will continue to watch uh, my playthrough videos. And uh, hopefully, I'll get some um, TKN fan battles up uh, shortly. So, um, yeah, later.